Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell, and today I'm going to show you how to homebrew your Wii U on firmware version 5.5.3. The browser exploit method hasn't changed very much, but I thought I should make a video on it anyway, just in case anyone got confused. In this video, you're going to need an SD card. One which is 32GB or lower. I'll be using a 4GB card in this video. You'll also need an SD card adapter for your PC. Also keep in mind, you have to use the SD card in the SD card slot of the Wii U. Don't use any USB adapters or any other USB storage devices. You have to use the SD card in the SD card slot. So now, it's time to shout out our Patreon supporters. For this month, we have Alexandi1 and Boxfish, so a huge shout out and thank you to them. But now, let's get started, and remember to leave a like on this video if it helped you out. First off, head over to your PC, and in your browser's URL bar, type in wiiu.console.guide, and you'll be taken to the Wii U page on my website. Click the Homebrew Files button, then download them from this Google Drive page. And then save the zip folder to your desktop. Next, extract the contents of the Wii U Homebrew Files to your desktop. Then, open your Wii U's SD card and copy this Wii U folder to the root of the card. And that's all you have to do for the PC. Now, eject the SD card and put it back into your Wii U while it's turned off. And remember, you have to put the SD card in the Wii U's SD card slot. You can't use any USB adapters or USB storage devices. Now on your Wii U, open the internet browser. In the URL bar on the Wii U gamepad, type in wiiuexploit.console.guide. I'll have the spelling on screen now. Tap OK and it will take you to a page like this. Then press the X button on your controller to open the curtains on your TV screen. Tap the Run Homebrew Launcher button and you should now see a dialog box on your Wii U gamepad. Just tap Allow to continue. And after a few seconds, the Homebrew Launcher should open. Well, it looks like it's crashed this time, but don't worry, just hold the power button on the Wii U console for about 5 seconds, then open the internet browser once again. If your Wii U crashes more than 5 times in a row, I recommend resetting your browser's save data. To do this, visit the start page on the browser, then press the settings button in the top right corner, scroll down, then tap reset save data. Make sure to bookmark wiiuexploit.console.guide so you can easily access it each time you open your browser. And we're in! We're now in the Homebrew Launcher. Right now for this method, you have to use the internet browser and have Wi-Fi to launch Homebrew, but don't worry, I'll show you how to add the Homebrew Launcher to your home menu and how to launch it while offline in a future video, so make sure to stick around on the channel because that video is coming soon. In the Homebrew files which you downloaded, I installed the Homebrew App Store and gave it a cool icon. From the Homebrew App Store, 
you can download and install homebrew apps right from the internet without having to mess around with your PC or SD card. The first time you open it, it will be quite slow, but don't worry, the second time will be much much faster, similar to the Switch App Store. There's games, emulators, tools and lots more, but for this video, let's select all apps. As you can see, there's loads and loads of apps to choose from. To download one, just tap it on the Wii U gamepad, then tap get, but we won't be installing any homebrew apps in this video. To exit back to the homebrew launcher, just press the back button and then the home button. And then to exit back to the home menu, just press the home button and you'll be taken to Mii Maker. This is just one of the weird quirks of homebrew. Press the exit button on the Wii U gamepad to return to the home menu. And from now on, to open the homebrew launcher, Simply open the internet browser and run the Wii U exploit.console.guide bookmark. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sorrell, and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.